the treaty, other member states simultaneously presented their budgets on Thursday, while Kenya's budget was the highest at 3.66 trillion shillings. Tanzania had a budget of 1.7 trillion shillings, while Uganda presented a budget worth 1.37 trillion shillings. Here are the highlights of budgets of other East African member states. Tanzania, which is the second largest economy in East African community after Kenya, had its budget read by the new Minister of Finance and Planning, Dr. Moigolo Nchemba. Tanzania's budget increased by 54 billion, 1.7 trillion Kenyan shillings to 1.7 trillion Kenyan shillings for the 2021-2022 financial year. Tanzania says this will be the first budget for the implementation of the five-year development plan three. Tanzania plans to spend an equivalent of about 500 billion Kenyan shillings on servicing the national debt and other relevant services. Of this, Tanzania plans to spend an equivalent of 590 billion Kenyan shillings on development projects. The country plans to raise an equivalent 450 billion Kenyan shillings locally, mainly from taxes. Amos. Will be ready. In Uganda, designated Minister of State for Finance and Planning Amos Logoboli, while presenting the 1.37 trillion Kenyan shillings budget, announced the scrapping of the controversial social media tax. Logoboli repealed the 200 Uganda shillings exercise duty imposed on the use of social media. In its place, Uganda has instead introduced a direct tax of 12% on airtime and mobile internet data. While introducing the social media tax in July 2018, Uganda said it will help increase domestic domestic budget financing instead of depending on foreign aid, which was becoming expensive. Uganda plans to raise about 1 trillion Kenyan shillings as domestic revenue and plans to get about 133 billion shillings from domestic borrowing. Uganda expects to secure 312 billion Kenyan shillings in external financing for projects. Overall, Uganda plans to have its budget financed by domestic revenue 76.7% and 23.3% of external revenue. You're watching us live from Broadcasting House. Our second break is coming up next, and thereafter we'll continue with more stories.